Hey, Steve Von Brand here from the Bass College. Getting ready to go out here on the Northeast doing a little bit of fall bass fishing. We've had some pretty strange weather recently. It's been tough to get out. Every time you try to go out, you got a 15 to 25 mile an hour wind or better and heavy rain are off and on. Temperature swings 20, 30 degrees. 20 degrees above normal the last few days and then uh, 15 degrees below normal. Now back up to normal again and dropping this weekend. Big front coming through tomorrow in just 24 hours, so we're gonna see what happens. Today we're gonna use a few different baits. We're gonna see if some of these fish in this 52.4 degree water are gonna hit some of these brandy bass soft plastics like the new rattlesnake, uh, baby rattlesnake. We're gonna pitch them around a little bit in some of these laydowns up in the creeks and in the docks really hot bait all over the country. We're going to show you them up close, show you how to rig them. Um, I think you'll find that the, these Grandy Bass baits will produce some bass for you that you haven't gotten before. And they're a completely unique feel to them. They have ribs in them, and when the bass bite down on them, they're just totally convinced that this is a real bait. And with the scent already in it, um, you don't even have to put anything else on there. And uh, they last too. The rattlesnakes hold up real well. Very interesting bait that we're going to be showing you today. And of course, we're going to throw some different crankbaits, your Lucky Craft RC 1.5s, and some KBDs, and some other uh, shallow square bills up in the laydowns to see if we've got any active fish. And we're going to be throwing the Z-Man and the DM uh, chatterbait and uh, some swim jigs. So uh, hopefully, we'll get on some fish today. And we'll show you some of these other new baits by Grandy Bass and V-Man and uh, Lucky Craft up close. And uh, we'll see what they do for us here. Got Pete Blusick out here today. Just uh, launched behind us. So we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll see you down here. Yeah. Smallmouth. I was telling Mike, I said, you know, these bigger smallmouth up in here, they'll hit at 57 degrees. We've got four degrees warmer. Throwing that uh, Rick Plun Trickster. Nice. Looks just like a shad. See that? That's a big, big... Bass. Using Sunline, I'm using the new um, structure fluorocarbon today on the jigs, and I'm using the 16-pound reaction fluorocarbon here for the spinner baits and crank baits. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth, though. All right, let's see if we can get some more. Number two, they're up in this fast-moving water, 57.3-degree uh, temperatures up here. Same thing, white and blue, KBD, um, not KBD, Rick Fun Trickster. Another really good smallmouth. I mean, they're not giant, but these are good two, solid two, two and a half pound smallmouth, and there's bigger ones. We've had some three, three and a half, so nice, nice quality smallmouth while you're waiting for the tide to change. Then you can run up into the northeast, Sassafras, up into the Haver de Grace, hit all the laydowns and rocks as that tide starts to turn. Have a nice full day and fill out a limit if you're missing anything. Great place to start. Number three, John. That's Pete Glusick out there. Much nicer. See, they, we just saw these striking on the surface. And this is these are better stripers too. Much better. They're not giants, but much, much better. <laughs> Look at that, see? Decent there. See, that paid off, cast into where we saw that. Was right. here, I told Mike, I said, you can just put on these little Senkos and Biffle Bugs and things like that. You put on, you know, light line and just throw it right into the laydowns and things like that in the creeks. And they'll hit it all day long. You can catch 10, 12, 15 inch bass or less all day long. Okay, we're going to call it a day, get on out of here, caught some small mouth, caught some of those large mouth on small soft plastics, a little grandy bass rattlesnake and you know small little senkos, things like that. You can always catch 12, 13, 14 inch bass up in the creeks and in the pylons on those small baits, but I was hoping for the, some of the bigger fish. We worked some of the docks and some of our traditional fall spots with crank baits, spinner baits and just kept slamming the stripers and uh, smallmouth. And then, well, we came up and hit some, hit the creeks and threw the soft plastics and of course caught largemouth, but just nothing really big enough to, to film or bother with. You know, they're just all real small. So we're gonna get out of here. We'll hit it again in a couple days and see what happens. We'll see you next time down the